Kia ora. I'm going to be spending the next three days hiking in the uh, Kaimanawa Ranges. But I've got some clear weather for the next three days. And, um, and uh, tonight I'm heading to Waipakahi Hut via the Umu Karikari Range. That's a big tree. Looks like we might be hitting the tree line. Look at that, Rupehu. Some high points that way. Can't remember the name of it, like Motueri or something. I think that's that one. Urchin's over there. And uh, I think tomorrow, on and on, the last day, coming back along up this way, but uh, we're going. Look at this. There's uh, so much vibrance in the uh, plants and shrubs in the uh, alpine areas of the Kaimanawas, and it's uh, just gorgeous. Going that way, it's a cool peak. Wow, this is amazing. I get weather like this uh, tomorrow, probably go over the tops, way over that way, over Thunderbolt Peak, before dropping down to the river and camping. It's a bit of a longer day, but uh, if we got weather like this, it will be truly amazing. First, a little patch of snow. So beautiful.
I think this is the highest point of the track. Oh wait, never mind. There's an even higher point. But um that behind me is Umu Kari Kari Peak. I'm gonna keep going now. Um we'll stop somewhere out of the wind. Look at this view. So many hills. The range, the Umu Kari Kari range continues this way. But, uh, all these are the Kaimanawa Mountains. And uh, Rupehu. Natahoe and Tongadera are starting to clear up, so hopefully I might be able to see more of them tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. so fast Pakehi hut, you can just catch it down in the middle there. This is an awesome spot for a hut. The Waipakehi River is so pretty and this valley provides good shelter and uh, just nestled in there. It's a sign. Look at this. Three fifty-three, less than five hours to get to the hut, just under. It's me all set up. Right up behind the hut you've got your water tank. There's also a tap inside. I believe this is where the wood is kept. Yep, there's not a whole lot in there at the moment. We've got the fire going. 
and uh, out back behind the hut there is your toilet just tucked around here and the helipad this is one of the best spots for a hut I have seen yet out there it's quite an old track I think that one goes way up to that peak but uh, I'm heading up that way tomorrow There's a very nice orange colour when the sun hits the hills. I'm about to leave in about five minutes and uh, I'm going to be heading up to that high point and along the ridge inland. I'm going to be uh, leaving Waipakehi Hut now. It's uh, 7.50 in the morning, it's quite cold, it's probably about 3 degrees, 4 degrees at the moment, but I haven't got an extra warm layer on my top because uh, I'm about to be climbing all the way up there, so I'll get warmed up. And see how all the moisture in the ground has uh, frozen and expanded all in the dirt here. That's the way I'm heading. Not via the river though, via the track up that way. And that's the way I came yesterday. Now, got to cross the stream. easy. There's not much to indicate where the uh, track starts to go up the ridge because um, the poles finish back by the river so there is just following a little ground trail at the moment and there is a post up on the bush edge but between the river and the bush edge probably kind of got to pick your own way up. Here's the Waipaka Hiat come up this way and uh, I'm at the start of the track now and uh, I've got about 400 meters of climb until the tree line and then uh, about another 200 after that before I'm at the first of the big high points. popped out of the tree line here. It's the Umukarikari range where I was walking yesterday. And uh, yeah, back onto a pole route and um, that's the first of many high points to come. Look at this. That's incredible. I can just spot my Pakehi hut down there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. <sighs> That's where I was yesterday. There's Ruapehu. It's going to be clearer than yesterday and uh, the wind has uh, died down which is really nice. Still quite cool up here um, but I'm sure it will warm up as the sun gets higher. I'm going to push up there now. But first see a cool rock. This is one amazing place. Have to do more trips than the Kaimanawas. <sighs> Down the 
down there's Waipaka Yacht. So I've uh, climbed all the way up from there, from that valley. There's a little breeze, but nothing compared to the wind I had yesterday. Uh, and it's taken me an hour to get up here. It's actually about 200 meters of climb through the forest and then about another 150, 200 to the uh, high point I'm at now and the ridge is flattened out. And I think I've got a few ups and downs before going up to the top of one of those peaks and then going that way. What a day for it. down a bit more. Yeah. Look at these views. This is my last big climb of the day. I think there might be another 100 meter climb before uh, Thunderbolt Peak, but uh, this is about 200 meters of climb. Uh, looks like after this peak it flattens out and then there's a bit of a push, and uh, then I'll be at about 1,660 ish meters. Can't quite remember how high up that is. view Day. 
So that's point one six sixty, and then I go down the range. What a view! What a spot to eat. Come all the way up this ridge and that valley down in there is where Waipakahi Hut is. I've just had a break and something to eat for about 20 minutes. Um, I'm getting going now. That wind, that wind chill is probably below freezing, which isn't surprising considering it's now winter and I'm above 1,600 meters in elevation. Um, but I'm probably going to. I think I'm going to keep going and uh, my next break uh, will be at Thunderbolt, at the top of Thunderbolt. I'm uh, just about to begin that last little climb up to the uh, 1660 peak. meters. What a view down over the ranges. That's Thunderbolt Peak. And then we're going to go along that range. We might be encountering some snow on the track on the southern side of this descent. So uh, hopefully there isn't too much. But yeah, what a view. What a drop too. Is there really any other place in New Zealand you get views like this? Furupehu Narahoe Tongariro. You can just see the car wickers popping up that way. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to walk all the way along this ridge. Today, I've uh, kind of lost the ground trail. I think it's come up and goes down here but um well I went around the side of the hill rather than up and over it and now I'm kind of walking on this loose rock around the side of it to get back down and we're going up to that peak and down into this big kind of basin area and up to Thunderbolt for lunch. Here's the track. It's truly amazing. It's so pretty. going on the track but I had to stop because uh, that is one awesome place for a photo if I set the camera up here and stand there. <laughs>
And uh, with that, the last big climb of the day is over. Come from that high point and all the way down this ridge. And uh, Thunderbolt is actually that next one along. But uh, look at this. of Thunderbolt. Motueri. Just about to go a big drop there, but then a gradual climb back, and that's the highest point, the last high peak for today. I think oh it's looking like it's gonna be a seven and a half to eight hour day today of walking. Where was the track? I can see it down there. I'm just gonna make my own track for now. Motueri Peak, the last high peak <sighs> for today. It's very hazy over the lakes. But um, I'm going to have a break and uh, then I've got about another K and a bit, maybe two Ks of downhill to the river. catching a glimpse of the river down there. I've come all the way over those peaks today and I'm uh, getting the descent down here. I probably won't film much if anything until I get to the river so uh, yeah I want to get down there quickly. So I've just made it off the track and uh, looks like I have to cross the river immediately. 
I don't think I can really stick to the bank to get around it. Um, just come off the track and it's just been a uh, just a little over eight hour day today. Um, the track isn't too bad, it's a little bit uh, overgrown in some parts but it's easy enough to follow. I can't believe I have to get, looks like I'm walking out in wet feet tomorrow. I'm just going to cross in here I think. Oh, very cold. Yeah. It's really refreshing though. Alright. Let's find a flat place. Put the tent up. What about like here? This looks decent enough, not quite perfectly flat, but I don't want to have to walk for too long. So I'm uh, thinking I'm going to set the uh, tent up right here. I'm right on the uh, track. Um, I've had a bit of a wash and I've got some clean clothes on. I'm just about to go get dinner, um, get some water to boil and I'll get dinner on. And then uh, while that's cooking, I'll get the tent set up. I'll have a quick look first though because I've only kind of looked at this area but um, I might go around a bit further and just see if there isn't a slightly better campsite otherwise they'll be just fine. So I just started eating dinner, got the fire going, about to move everything into the tent. Uh, what's the time actually? Time is currently uh, quarter past five, so I'm going to have an earlier night than I did last night. And uh, once again get up before sunrise and walking probably by seven. Yeah. I think it's going to be another cold night, but uh, not much I can do about that. My uh, wet socks from yesterday are frozen. It's just a solid sock, I think. My garters aren't, thankfully. Ooh. Time to put my partially frozen boot on. Ugh. Oh, that's damp. Ugh. That's very pretty. I'm gonna be up on one of those high points. Uh, soon. Uh, looking at the map it looks like I've got probably um, like two river crossings. Um, the track up towards Urchin is on the true right of the river. Um, I'm currently on the true right but the river cuts to that side and um, so it looks like I might have to cross it to the left and then back to the start of the, uh, to the, start of the track on the right but I'm um, hopefully depending on how it is I can maybe stick to the right bank and um, avoid having to cross the river. This would have been a better campsite.
Can't be avoided, unfortunately. Woo, it's cold. Ah! <laughs> what is this? Why is it cold? Oh, it's like mud. <coughs> it's like just wet dirt and mud on the bank of the river. Look at this pool. In the summer, after a long, warm day hiking, this would be an amazing place to swim. It's just too cold at the moment. Can't get over how clear the water on the Waipakahi River is. It's definitely the clearest water I've seen in the North Island. This is a much nicer place to camp. It was just, I didn't have enough daylight uh, to get here in time. Aha! Here is the track. Is it that way? Hello Mr. Sun, how I have missed you. That is very bright. At least it starts to warm up a bit. A lot of uphill, uh, and lots of big uh, steps like that, whoa! <laughs> Kitchen road, two to three hours, or five to seven hours that way. Now I'm parked on here, the Mukari Kari Road end. Uh, I'm going to make a decision. Um, they'll take me back onto the track I was on day one, but uh, that is the longer because it takes me in the wrong direction for a while. Look at that of the clouds and um, this way is shorter but um, I'll have to walk a couple k's of road at the end to uh, get back to my car but uh, I think overall it's shorter and probably do that I was camping down there somewhere on the river that's Motueri that's where I was came from yesterday the sign here says it's one hour to one and a half hours down to the uh, Waipakahi River going downhill. I uh, managed to make it up in uh, just under an hour going uphill, so that ain't bad. About to get going up to Urchin now. Another beautiful day. With the weather like this, Kaimano is a truly an amazing place. 
be much better in summertime when there's a much longer day light hours I'm almost at the shortest day of the year I don't think I cleaned out my uh, pot properly because I had um, some noodles this morning and then I rinsed it out and got some more water into the pot to uh, boil and put into my water bladder so I could drink it later and uh, well the water now the water I'm drinking tastes like beef noodles it's not the most pleasant thing I've had Wow, so pretty. Rupehu Natahoe. This is probably the clearest day yet, except for that way. But uh, I saw another rock I gotta go stand on, so I'm gonna go to that first. this stairs these are like the first proper stairs I've come across so far Ugh. This is one amazing view. The volcanoes. Clouds over Lake Taupo. And the uh, Kamanawa Ranges. And that right there is Urchin. The highest point for today. Oh, I lied. This isn't urchin. That's urchin. So, not quite at the last high peak yet. Oh. There's the trig. Top of urchin. Wow. That's one awesome view. The mountains are amazing. I'm hoping, uh, it is the start of June, but I'm, I'm hoping if there isn't too much snow in the coming weeks, uh, to maybe do the round the mountain circuit around Ruapehu, but include the Tongariro crossing as well. That'd be about a five day walk, but um, four or five day walk. And uh, yeah, if you get weather like this, that would be incredible. Two days ago I walked up here and I uh, went up to the top of that high point and the Umukari Kari range carries on behind it and uh, then the day after it might even be those ranges way in the back I went up along those all the way around those hills way back there and along and up to Motueri that one down to the river to camp last night now I've come back along here to Urchin and everything is downhill now. Somewhere down there's the car park but I've got to walk a little bit of road around to over there to get to the um, where I've parked. What a view. The um, urchin track is uh, really nice, easy to follow and well maintained and it's not actually terribly steep in places, there's quite a lot of long flat sections and um, 
uh, would make for a great day walk, especially on a day like this. It's probably the um, nicest uh, bit of track, or nicest bit of forest track I've actually walked on on this trip. It's uh, beautiful. The urchin track. Waipakahi River, three to four hours, so it's uh, just turned 12, so uh, it took me about three hours, 20 minutes to get to the urchin car park uh, from when I started the track up uh, from the Waipakahi River. Uh, now, yeah, what a few days. It's been an amazing trip, and uh, well, I have to come back to the Kaimanawas in the summer. Um, so I've been pushed for daylight the first two days um, because it's the start of June and so we're rapidly approaching the shortest day of the year. But um, wow, a long day yesterday, but uh, definitely worth it. And the Umu Kari Kari track, that's, uh, I'd definitely recommend that one. Uh, and staying at Waipakahi Hut and even the urchin track is like a day walk. Um, this is the only trip I've done in the Kaimanawas and so far it's... I think I prefer them over the Ruahines and Tararuas. Uh, it's some like great flat rolling ridge tops and uh, you know there's no leatherwood, no Spaniards, so that's a plus. And uh, yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, lucky me has about 2Ks of walk now on a gravel road till I get to where I parked my car on the Umukarikari track. So uh, yeah, I'll end it here, I'll see you in whatever my next video is, not sure yet, and uh, I'll cue the photos.